What's up YouTube fans? Today we're going to do a comparison of the Fans Toys Parkour with the X Transbots Toro. Both versions of a masterpiece cliff jumper. Now I don't have the third one that was made which is the Mastermind Creations. Um, that one I think I did a comparison and it lost to this one so these are the two that I'm going to be comparing today. As I always mention with these comparisons, I try to be as objective as possible. But of course, there's subjectivity involved when you're comparing stuff like this. So I've picked one and you prefer the other, then you win. I really try to do these comparisons to help people decide what direction they want to go with their collection. With that being said, let's get started. We'll start off with accessories. So there are all the accessories you get. And the X-Transbots went ahead and gave us a sled to put all the accessories on. It's actually kind of cool. But let's take a look and we'll match them up one by one. They both come with a blaster that looks like this. Different colors and looks, but both come with that. They both gave us the bazooka. Again, different looks. They both come with the, here I'll take these out of here, the skis. So the way X Transbots implemented it is they you're using this uh, plate with the skis attached and you just put the car on top whereas fans toys went with just four individual pieces but either way they both get that uh, you're left with this kind of panel piece so i'm just going to leave that it's just a storage type of piece and here's kind of what we have so we'll match these up um, fans toys comes with three additional heads so i'm going to match them up with weapons here because it's kind of hard to Count them off. You get this nozzle here for cliff jumper for uh, X transbots. You get this other type of gun. And here's what you're left with. You have two spears, which I think these actually combine. Yeah, so combine into a bigger spear. The antenna, and then the little gun which goes on the hood of the car. So X transbots is going to win on accessories. All right, next we'll talk about the gimmicks, and both of them have mostly the same gimmicks, with the exception the Fans Toys has the opening doors in the vehicle mode, whereas the uh, x Transbus does not. So just by hair, we're going to give gimmicks to Fans Toys. Right, next we'll talk about the cartoon accuracy and the sculpt. In order to do that, we'll put the G1 image there so you take a look for yourself. And for me, it's kind of a no-brainer. The Fans Toys nailed the cartoon look. It's really the proportions is where they kind of got things right. The legs aren't too skinny. I think on both the X Transbots and the MMC versions, they made really skinny legs just because they had to support the transformation. So there's kind of some really nice engineering there. Uh, and then the head sculpt itself, they really got that head sculpt right on the Fans Toys. Coming to the side and the back here, this is where Fans Toys also, I think, improved on the sculpt. There's not a lot of hollow and kibbly bits. The X Transbots, you got a kind of a messy lower area on the legs and on the feet. And then the backpack itself is really a lot of pancakes. You have a little bit of pancakes here, but coming straight on on the back, they've got painted it red, which was really smart. The X Transbots, they have the glass here for the rear uh, hatchback. So that ends up kind of taking over his whole back. So because of those things, I'm going to give Fans Toys both the cartoon accuracy and the sculpt. All right, next we'll talk about the paint on these two, and this one again is a kind of a no-brainer. Fans Toys is basically 100% painted with the exception to the translucent red, uh, blue that you see there. The uh, X Transbots is painted on the face. The rest of this, I believe, is just a colored plastic. There's a little bit of paint on the edges here, these lights, there's a couple details and accents, but overall, this is an unpainted figure, so we're gonna give it over to Fans Toys. Right, next, we'll talk about the build quality, and this one is interesting, because typically, Fans Toys will win the build quality. Um, this figure is actually a little bit different than the typical Fans Toys figure. There isn't a lot of die cast, and on top of this, there's a couple of very thin pieces, specifically these tab pieces right here, which you saw in the review. Those are kind of delicate, whereas the X Transbots is actually relatively simple and easy to transform, and you know nothing feels like you need, it needs to be delicate. So I'm actually going to give build quality order X Transbots. I think they made a really solid figure on this particular figure. Next, we'll talk about the articulation. In order to do that, we'll articulate each one individually so you can see what they can do. 
The fan stars can is on a rotating swivel, so the head can rotate around, and it can go up to there. Uh, no side to side on this. For the shoulders, you can rotate around. Sometimes the shoulder comes out, but um, if you press that tab in, it'll hold it. Goes up to there. Rotation at the bicep. Single jointed elbow gets you 90 degrees. Rotation at the wrist. Single pin for the hands. You have a waist rotation here. No ab crunch on this guy. The hips will go up to there and the hip skirt actually moves with it. Back to there. Open up the hip skirt, it'll go out to the side. Your rotation at the thigh. Single jointed knee, but due to the sculpt, it gets you the full bend. You have ankles on a ball joint, so it goes forward and backward, side to side, and it rotates around. For the X transbots, the head is on a rotating swivel as well, so it rotates around. You don't get a lot up. It's, it's actually pretty limited, but it does have up and down movement. Rotation at the arm on a ball joint, up to there. Rotation at the bicep, single joint elbow gets you 90 degrees. Rotation at the wrist, single pin for the hands. Rotation at the waist, uh, you do get an ab crunch here on the X transbots. So that's nice. Legs go up to there, back to there, out to the side. Rotation at the thigh. You do have a double jointed knee here. Uh, Although you end up getting almost the same amount of articulation, they do have an extra joint at that knee. For the feet, you have ankle tilt all the way up to there, forward and backwards, uh, no rotation. So because of the additional ab crunch and because of the double jointed knee, I'm going to give it to X Transbots. The only thing that Fansters has a little bit better, a little bit more, is on the feet you can rotate the foot but we're going to give articulation over to x -trans. All right, next we'll talk about the transformation and engineering when it comes to transformation i find that the x transbots is definitely more fun and a little bit easier uh, i transformed it for this review several times no problem the fan stories there's a couple of delicate parts you do want to kind of go slow and be careful so i'm going to give transformation to x transbots but i'm going to give engineering to fans toys just what they're able to do here to get it to come pack down to that chibi car but then become like this for the robot mode with nice proportions it's really well done it's really an engineering feat so i'm going to give engineering to them all right and there they are in their vehicle modes and obviously very different takes on a cliff jumper vehicle mode fans toys went with the chibi style you know short look Whereas x trans wants with a more realistic look for the Porsche 959. It looks just like it. Actually, I don't remember if it's 959, but they've got the realistic headlights and the hood, realistic rear glass, rear lights are like identical to what the vehicle looked like. Even the wheels are like very much like what the vehicle looked like. But the problem with that is the size. So both of these are obviously very small vehicles on the masterpiece scale. So let's bring in another Porsche. And here's where things get a little wonky, is the x trans that's because they went with this realistic vehicle look, it ends up looking like a retail vehicle, right? Because it's so small that it's almost like retail size, but it's in a masterpiece display. So the vehicle just doesn't make any sense. I kind of like the fact that Fans Toys went with the chibi look because you can kind of show that it's a different, it's a mini car. You know, it's not a full-size car. Um, I also like the fact that the doors open up on the fans' toys. The x bus they don't. They actually fold downwards. And then you have rubber tires and chrome wheels on the fans' toys. Um, the only thing I don't really like is the back of the fans' toys, but believe it or not, that is actually accurate to the cartoon. <laughs> so we're going to give all the over to fans' toys, even though I really like the look of this, the fact that it's a realistic Porsche. I'm going to give it to fans' toys. I think they nailed the character, nailed the look and it fits in nicely with Masterpiece Scale. Next, let's talk about the cost on these two. And I go with the US retail price, and I typically use the Aegis 3 and Up website. So the Toro retailed for $70, the Parkour retails for $110 or $15, depending where you look. But either way, 
X Trans Bus is going to win on cost. And the final factor in this comparison is the members' choice, where I ask my members which one they prefer, just based solely on their preference and not any other factor. And you can see Fans Toys is going to win the members' choice category. Not surprising, but there you go. Final thoughts on this comparison. You can see the score. Fans Toys is going to take this one. And I am not surprised. <laughs> I think they did a really good job on this figure. Now, this is a similar debate that we had when we did the Jazz comparison, Make Toys and, and Fans Toys. And one of the things is how important is tune accuracy to you? You know, if you really like that tune accurate look, then I think Fans Toys is the one. Um, it also is just pretty clean, but they sacrificed the transformation, right? The transformation is a little bit more difficult, more challenging. Whereas X Transbots is simple. It's a more simple robot, more simple transformation. Um, but they don't necessarily hit the cartoon accuracy in either vehicle mode or the robot mode. So you kind of have to figure out, you know, what are you willing to trade trade on? Me personally, I really love the look of this and the overall feel of it. So I'm going to use this as my cliff jumper. But both of these can serve a purpose in your collection. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.